today we are back with another awesome episode in our Minecraft survival world and I have a bunch of stuff planned but before we get started we're gonna go ahead and get a bit of terraforming in place so that we can get some of your awesome build ideas in place. Now before I get started less than 20% of you that actually watch my videos are subscribed to the channel so if you haven't done so already please consider subscribing it's free and you can always unsubscribe later on if you wish. So while we're getting in some of the terraformer, let's go over some of the most popular requests to have built in this area. Now, if you have any ideas, be sure to let me know in the comments what you would like to see. I will be trying my best to get as many builds in this area as I can. So any requests you put in is hopefully going to be going in this village. If not, it will be going in the next village that we build in this series. I have plans for many villages, so there's going to be plenty of chances for building. So first of all, one of the most popular requests has been a windmill with some farms around it. So some nice big farmland with some wheat fields and stuff. So that's going to be going likely on top of the hill. And we're going to have some fields going around the back and side of the village. Another popular request has been a wall shop. People want to see a wall shop with an automatic wall farm underneath. We've also got requests for a greenhouse with a honey farm. An apothecary with an auto brewing station inside or some form of auto brewing system an iron farm and a slime farm now these are going to be going in this world i'm not sure where they're going to go yet likely is going to be somewhere underground another great request has been a water mill just down on the waterfront i've got a perfect spot laid out for that so that's going to be coming very soon as well a witch hut this has been quite highly requested eh? and i think this is a great little idea we've got a couple of little islands near us and i think if we make a nice little bridge and kind of make a little hidden not hidden but a little sort of separated witch hut on its own give it some fantasy colors and stuff like that i think it will be great we've also had some requests for a watchtower and i think that's a great idea we definitely need at least one or two watchtowers around this area depending on how big it's built up also had a request well several requests for a blacksmith with an auto smelter underneath a church a woodcutter's house a bakery a brewery and a mining area or quarry of sorts so i think we're definitely going to be getting some of those in place as many as possible we've also had a ton of requests for a cow pen which is going to be going in very soon i've got some cool ideas for that and a tavern which i've got the perfect spot all set up and ready to go with that being said let's get to work so the landscape is looking much better. We've still got a lot of work to do to it as it still isn't as smooth as I would like. So we're going to go ahead and do some more work on that a bit later on. But one of the biggest things I forgot to mention was the most requested build from last episode, which was a lighthouse, which is going to go on this corner here. I think this wall here is going to extend here. And then we're going to kind of create a kind of circular shape like that. That's going to come around to probably, probably about here somewhere. Then we're going to have a bridge connect from here to here. The lighthouse is going to be on the corner here and we have like a connecting house that's going to come down sort of around here somewhere. Down here we're going to have a water mill and we will be digging out a bit of this little river here just to make it a little bit deeper so that it feels a bit more fitting for what we're going to be building. And then for the rest of the area here I think we're going to have a tavern with a little bit of a storage unit at the back here. We'll have some stables in here. In this area over here, I think we'll maybe put in an apocryphy. I think that'd be really nice. But first of all, before we do anything, I want to build a pond. As so many of you requested a pond, a little kind of park or sitting area over here by this tree. Um, so to do that, I've got a couple of things I need to gather up. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a boat and get out on the water. I want to get a little bit of coral and some kelp. Before we head off on our little adventure, let's take a quick look over here. So as we come through the barn, you can see we now have a tunnel that goes all the way through, all the way around here. So what is going to be our cow pen? Now, over the back here, I'm going to do a nice big pen, which I'm going to build. I'm going to add some trees and bits and bobs in here to make it look really nice. Um, but we'll come back to that a little bit later on. But it's starting to look pretty cool. I still got to add all dirt all the way through here and a path as well. Now, also, while we're here, let's head downstairs to our farms because I've got the storage all in place now. So we've got automatic storage here for all of our items. So we're collecting potatoes, carrots, uh, sugar cane. Bamboo farm isn't set up yet, but the storage is set up to store it. We've got storage set up for pumpkins and for melons. Now, with that being said, guys, I think it's time to head off on our journey and see if we can get ourselves some coral and some kelp. 
Kelp shouldn't be a problem. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of that around, but the coral might be a little bit difficult to find. So let's see what we can do. Okay, well, we didn't have to go too far at all for the kelp. I mean, we traveled, uh, yeah, pretty much all day to get here. I mean, uh, yeah, <laughs> let's just grab some of this. Okay, and that gives us plenty. There we go. And on with the adventure. Where's Dave or Jimbo when you need them, eh? This is a bit of a lonely journey. Wow, loads of you guys. Oh my god, how many of you are there? After a few facial improvements? Still no coral. Oh, I can see a glow. Ha <laughs> ha. We found some coral, finally. Oh my gosh, I didn't think I was going to find any. Okay, time to cannonball in. There we go. And some sea pickles. More sea pickles. Sea pickles. Lots of sea pickles. Sea pickles. Okay, some coral fans. So I mainly want the pink ones more than anything because these look like kind of like Japanese lilies on the water. Okay, I think that should do us for our journey. It's time to head home. I think we're a little lost again. Okay, I think we are well and truly lost. So, uh, this might be a little bit of a long journey. Okay, and the last thing I just want to gather up is a few vines. Because I want to make some mossy cobblestone slabs for the bottom of the pond. Because I think they work really well. So let's just get a bunch of these. The trespassing, dude. Uh, I don't think I didn't see you. Okay, let's start by getting ourselves a nice shape for our little pond. Okay, okay, it totally wasn't me, guys. I swear this guy just drowned in the pool. But I gotta say, it does make a nice decoration. Okay, this should work. Let's go ahead and put in a few details. So we'll start with a few cobblestone slabs. These are the mossy ones that so seem to look a little bit better under the water. That looks good. Let's add a little bit of detail to the bottom of the ponds. So we're just going to put a little bit of bone mill. And that will just add a bit of greenery. We'll place a few bits of kelp just randomly. And not too many of them either. We just want a few of them dotted here and there. Looking good, but it's looking a bit dark. Let's add in a few of these. Okay, let's add a few of these trapdoors. So we're going to place one about there. Get rid of these two. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then if we go one, two, and we can go three. Excellent. And then we, if we add a few of these around them, they kind of look a little bit like Japanese lilies. Okay, that's looking good. Let's go ahead and add a few little details around the outside. So we're going to add a few little bushes just like this. Now, when you add bushes, don't add too many of them in one big clump. Kind of space them out a little bit. Leave little grooves like this where you can put a flower in behind it. And also a good thing to do is to add ones like this. So that you have a little gap underneath, like a little air gap. And then finally, we're just going to add a couple more about there. Let's bring one, two, maybe there. Let's add some rose bushes. Okay, that looks cool. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of bamboo. I think this really adds a good bit of detail. So we're going to add some there. For the bamboo... I like to add a little bit of bone meal to it so that we'll grow it so that it's the fixed stems like this. So we'll keep doing it till we get that fixed stem. Okay, now I like to break mine down to, it depends on what I'm doing, but probably about that high for some of them. So two, some will be a bit different. So this one's over here. So this one I want to be a little bit higher. Break it to three and we're going to just jump up here, place a bit of string on top and that'll stop it from growing. One of the things I like to do is once I've broken, see this has already got the leaves on, which is fine. This one's got leaves on the top one, it's fine. That's got leaves on the top one, but I'd like to see the leaves further down. So let's break it from there. Bone mill it, and then that gives us more of the leaves up the sides. Look, these have got no leaves on it. So we break it one up from the bottom. And then we can just bone mill them. And they'll stop growing at the point where our string is. Okay, the pond is starting to shape up nicely. Let's go ahead and add in a couple of little blue flowers. We'll put one there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put in a little bit of bone meal. Okay, and I think overall, I think that is looking really nice. Now that we've got our pond all in place, let's go ahead and put a little bench, I think just against here. And I think we can have a little shelter over the top of it. So let's go ahead and do 
something like this. I think that looks good. And then we're going to go ahead, we'll put in one of those at each side. If I can get them in the right place. Yeah, like a little sort of shelter going across. And we'll do, do that. And we'll put in them across there. And then we can get rid of these at the back. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Then I think we're going to go ahead and we just maybe just a little thin table with a few little chairs like this. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And I think what we'll do is we'll put a little lantern up there and then maybe we'll put in a flower pot just at the back there. Okay, and one last little thing I want to do is just add in a couple of little fishes. There we go. Now we'll go ahead and see if I can find some tropical fish at some point to put in here. But those two guys are due for now. Okay, we're back at the spider farm. I've just repaired my bow and I'm just gaining a bit of XP so we can repair a few of our tools and then we should be good to go. Okay, so I've done a little bit of planning off camera. As you can see, we've got the rest of this wall in place now. This is going to be where we're going to have our lighthouse on the corner here with a little bit of a house connected to it. This little gap here is going to be where our bridge is going to go across to the little island. And then this little layout down here, this is going to be for the water mill, which is going to be perfect because we've got this little stream that comes just in this little ledge here. So I think it's going to be the perfect location for that. Um, other than that, we're going to be getting in our pathway, which is probably going to come down here around the back of this little warehouse. Make a little stairway that comes up here. Then we're going to have an entranceway into what's going to be a garden from the tavern. So we're going to have like a walled garden that's going to go all the way around. We'll have an entrance way each side and there'll be a pathway that goes all the way through to the other side. Probably connecting up to this pathway over here and then coming down here somewhere and connecting up to the pathway here. So I think for now we're going to head over to the nether. We've got a few things we need to gather up like some more ancient debris, some ender pearls so that we can get to the end. And we're going to need some blaze rods. Let's go ahead and see if we can gather up a few bits and hopefully we can make it at some point soon into the end. Oh yeah. And probably a good idea to take something gold with you as well. Because those pickling guys, they don't like if you don't wear it. What you got? Anything nice? Come on, give me some enderpearls. I said enderpearls. Nope. String. Are you serious? I've got a spider farm. This is gold. This is shiny. Give me something shiny. So last chance. Give me something good. String. Seriously, I ain't being ripped off by him. No more. Okay, finally, we've got our first pieces of netherite. This took me quite a while to actually find, but we finally got some. So hopefully we should be on a good level. So let's go ahead. Uh, let's go ahead and mine this. Okay, we've just come up to a gravel patch. Now, I'm curious because I seem to always find netherite near a gravel patch. And it's going to make me have to be a liar this time, isn't it? Okay, we've got another piece of netherite. Oh, no, another piece of ancient debris, rather. Okay, our fourth ancient debris. Ooh. Ah, I would have missed that one. And another one. Oh my god, that's three pieces next to each other. Six pieces, we're on a roll. Okay, I think that's enough ancient debris for today. Okay, let's see if we can get some of these endermen's attention. That's the one pain with knockback on the sword. Hey, okay, right, we've got two enderpearls. Come on. And we've got another one. Four. Okay, awesome. This is good. Hey, ugly. Oh. Probably a good idea to say that when we're in a safe place. You're still ugly. And you're mine. Six underbells. Oh, he was fast. Not fast enough, I dude. I just need your pearls. Oh, they got another one. Is he in view? Yep, you saw me. Oh, and we got another one over here. Got two of you. You guys have got anger issues. Come on, did I kill both of them or just one? Dude, you need some therapy. I think we're going to have to set up, not necessarily a full-on never hub at the moment, but at least some connections so that we can get to each biome easily. Like, make some tunnels from our main never pool because, you know, trying to get from place to place is a right pain at the moment. I was only looking at you, buddy. I mean, you know... Take it as a compliment. You really shouldn't, though. What's with you guys and nicking things, man? Look, you've always got to grab something. 
Okay, and the last thing we need to do is get some blaze rods. So hopefully we should have a blaze spawner somewhere around here on this nether fortress. Aha, there we go. Perfect. Okay, we've got two blaze spawners here. We've got one right here and one right over there. Make a very good spawner from here. And you... And if you drop a blaze rod, there we go. There's our first blaze rod. Oh, okay. We're starting to get a few of these guys spawned now. Another one and another one. Okay, we've got a few blaze rods now. We're doing pretty good. Oh. And another one down. Oh, we've got two there. Excellent. Oh, right there. I didn't even see you. Have that. How do these guys see you from so far away? And you're mine. Oh, that was a bit delayed. And you're mine. Okay, he didn't drop anything. And ah, neither did this guy. He did. Awesome. Oh, got two of you. Let's be careful here. One, two, three. Four. Hey. And another one. One and two. And one and two. Oh. Okay, we have got loads of blaze rods now. Okay, I think we've got enough blaze rods for today, so I think it's about time we head back home. Okay, well, that was a little bit of a venture, but I think it's time to get ourselves back home. So we found nine ancient debris in the end, and that's going to give us a good amount of never scraps to make some never right ingots. So that should be pretty good. Okay, I only managed to get two never right ingots, so I guess we're going to put it on our armor for now. So we're going to get never right leggings and a never right chest plate, which is going to be pretty cool. Okay, we're going to go ahead and craft ourselves some blaze powder. And then we're going to turn these into eye vendors. That gives us 16 eye vendors. And in fact, you know what? I'm going to just do the other six. We may as well. So we'll do that. There we go. That gives us 22 eye vendors, which is going to be plenty. While we're here, I'm going to go ahead and craft myself two brewing stands. One, two, one, two. There we go. And I guess we can go ahead probably and place... I guess one there and we'll put another one just there and there we go two brewing stands that's going to be perfect now one thing i do want to make a point of is starting to do more potions because it's one thing i've never really done in game is really make many potions and use them so i want to make a point of it and i'm going to put my eye vendors in this chest out of the way so they're safe i think the end of dragon fight we're probably going to go ahead and do in next episode but for today i've got a bunch more building that i want to get done because i want to start bringing this area together um my goal is to come over this side here i want to start putting in the tavern some of the little stables that are going to go down the side here this little it's not really a warehouse more of a storage for the tavern and then a little lighthouse over the back here this little lighthouse here is going to be quite small and it's going to be a bit more on the fantasy side of things not hugely just a little bit i think um because i wanted to blend in with this building over here um, one thing I'm thinking about doing as well is because I want the lighthouse to have the same roof, the warped roof. And I think it's going to be too much because we're going to have one warped roof there, one here, and one here. So I think this roof here for the fishing hut, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change it out for the, um, the jungle planks, I think, to kind of blend in the different colors of roofs. Because I like the idea of having different colored roofs around. I think it helps break the area up and just makes things feel a little bit more natural, a bit more organic. Um, I also want to start doing some of the interiors as well. So we want to start getting some of these together. I've got a few cool ideas. So um, we're going to come back to those once we've done a bit of building. So without any further ado, guys, let's get to work. Okay, so first of all, I've got to admit, guys, that I was a little overwhelmed with what to build here. You guys had so many amazing ideas, and I literally wanted to build everything at once. Um, so guys, keep all the ideas coming because you give me so many ideas to put in this town and I really want to expand this town with some big buildings and really want to make it a really big town. I want to ex extend it right over the he hills and all the way around the other side of the island. So be sure to send me in your ideas for the town as well. 
Now, with that being said, I did decide to start with the lighthouse. As it was going to be a prominent feature on the front of the docks, I decided to go ahead and create one, first of all, in a creative test world. This design I felt was a little bit more fantasy and really worked nice with the area. Although most of the other the area at the back there has a bit more of a medieval feel, the front area here does have a bit of a fantasy style to it, but it's enough of a style that the change isn't too drastic and it feels very fitting with each other. Um, I think having those little change in styles really helps create a nice atmosphere and really helps just bring a little bit more life together on the village, you know, because whenever you go to any town or any village you see, not every building is exactly the same style, you know, you have these breaks in styles and these changes and that's what I wanted to bring in with the rest of this village. The tavern here, as you can see, we started off with a stone base. I wanted this build to feel, uh, feel a little bit more bigger in the area and make it sort of stand out a little bit, but not to a point where it overtook everything. So it still is the same in size and sort of comparison for things. So it still fits with that. But I wanted it to feel like it was a pretty big, strong building. Now, for the top part of the house, we went ahead and we used the smooth sandstone, which I will be texturing a little bit later with the normal sandstone. And overall, I've got to say, I really love the shape of this. I went ahead with a slight diagonal on the building here, and then we've got a little bit of an area outlined for a warehouse at, this, at the back. And then to the side, we've got an area laid out for some horse pens or some stables. I went with the acacia wood for the roof um, because it's an orange color and I wanted something a little bit different here. This might change to copper once we update to 1.17. But I'm currently holding out for shaders, which I believe is about 90% ready. So hopefully this week we should hopefully get updated to 1.17 and we can start using some of those new blocks. Now I've got to admit guys, this episode has been so much fun and as quick as the episode may seem, it actually took me a lot of time making this one. I believe we took roughly 70 to 80 Minecraft days, so it's almost 100 days of Minecraft just in one episode, so it's been a pretty packed episode. Now I know that these episodes are getting pretty busy and they, we do a lot, quite a lot of work and I, I enjoyed doing that, I think it makes the episode a bit more fun and enjoyable for you guys um so you get to see a lot of progress a lot of stuff happening you know and it keeps the episode quite exciting but if you'd rather me tone it down a little bit be sure to let me know in the comments and if you want me to continue as it is and you're really enjoying the series be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you want to see me build next now, with that being said, you can see we're getting in at the little warehouse at the back here. This is going to be where we're going to store all of the beer and the alcohol and stuff like that. Rather than being in a cellar underneath, I figured a little warehouse is something a little bit different. Now, with that being said, we went ahead and finished up the stables on the right-hand side there. They're just some little simple basic stables, but it works really nice outside the tavern. And as you can see, it really sections this whole tavern in this little corner here, which I absolutely love. And of course, it wouldn't be a Blue Nerd video without some greenery. You know what I'm like, guys. We've got to add that greenery in there. Getting in those trees, those flowers, the bushes and everything like that. It's what really makes the area. And it's what really finishes any little part of a build. If you do loads of building, but you don't add in that greenery, the place is just going to feel very empty and just lacking of life. So go ahead, put in some trees, throw in a few bushes. Place in some flowers, but be careful with the flowers. Don't overdo too many different colors. As you can see, I've gone with the whites, the lilacs, and red. And that's it. Throughout the whole town, I've stuck with those colors because too many colors just start looking a bit messy. And then finally, the last thing to do is go ahead and put that jungle roof onto the fishing hut here. Now, I've got to admit, I do love the color of the fishing hut, but it's just not going to work with what I have planned because I already got planned for another build just behind this, which is likely going to have a warped wood roof. And then if I do that, it's just going to be too much of the blue in one place. But as you can see, the village is shaping up. So let's go ahead, jump in game and take a look around and see what we've been doing. Okay, before we do anything, I've just got to sit here and just admire this view. I've got to say, I really love this view. You know, we've got the lighthouse in the back there. We've got all the greenery running down the side here. This little section here that's kind of closed in, it just looks so nice. I really love the way this is done. I definitely think we need a few more of these sort of areas around the town. You know, little closed in areas because it just adds such a nice little, I don't know, like a little feature. Anyway, let's hop down on our feet. Let's go down and have a look at our pond and have a little wander around the village and see how it's looking on foot because you've really got to walk around to kind of admire the way things are looking at the moment. 
The pond down here, I absolutely love. I think it just looks so peaceful. And I think what we need to do is when we do upgrade to 117 is get some axolotls in the pond. I think that will be perfect. Just a couple of them in here maybe. But yeah, I think this is looking beautiful. I really love, really love this. Now, if we turn around, we've got a little table at the side here, which looks really nice. We've got our warehouse over the back there. Still got to do the interior in there. Still got to do a few of the interiors. And I think we'll probably work on those in next episode. Around here, as we walk around, you can see it's just so full of life. All the greenery adds so much detail to everything. It really does. Then we've got our lighthouse around here, which i got to say, I'm really happy with the way this is shaping up. we still got to do the interior. And like I said, I think next episode, we're going to concentrate on a few interiors. But when we come in here, we're going to have a ladder going up. And you'll be able to go all the way to the very top where the light is as well. Now, if we head back on the outside, the sun is starting to go down. But we've got our nice bushes and trees around the edge here. Up these still steps here, this is going to be a big garden, like a really big garden. We're going to have a bunch of tables and stuff like that all out here. A load of greenery and foliage to make it really look nice. Still got to actually put some bushes across the top of the edge here, but I'll do that when we do the garden area. Because I'm not sure what we're going to do with it just yet. And then on the inside here, you've got quite a bit of room to play with. We'll probably put a staircase in the corner here. A curly, a, 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 a spiral, get the words out. A spiral one going all the way up. And then out the front here, we've got our little hall stables, which I think look really nice. If we quickly come over here before we start getting mobs attack us, we've got our greenery in the side here, bushes down the side here. And then if we go forward past all of our stables, we can come in here. And we've got a little warehouse. So at the moment, there's a bunch of chests in here. These won't be standing here. I'm going to build some like kegs and a load of barrel storage and grain storage and stuff like that that the tavern would need. So we will be changing in here. I just made a little temporary thing while I was actually building out here because we were using so many resources. It just made more sense to kind of get everything in one place rather than running back and forth to our uh, storage in, the bit in our base and the storage in here and stuff. So yeah, it just made a bit more sense. I gotta say, guys, I absolutely love that. Ooh, cats. Cats, I just heard cat. Cat, cat, cat. I'm sure it's cat saying it. That if you if you feed a cat fish and they become your friend, they scare away creepers. Let's test it by catching some fish. One, two, three, four. Ah, gotcha. Here, fishy, fishy. Ooh, look, we got one. We got one. Can we convince him to be our friend? Come on, little fella. I got some food for you. Come on. Hey, we did it. Best friends forever. Hello, buddy. We got to get you a name tag and give you a name. Guys, let me know in the comment. What should we call this little fella? Okay, well, apparently cats stop creepers. So come over here, buddy. Come over here, buddy. Come here. No, you're just going to go and do your own thing. There we go. Our first little kitty. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up there, guys. So if you did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like button. But for now, this is Blue Nose signing out. And I will catch you guys in the next one.